Increase in prices of food seasonings has been attributed to high cost of raw materials, insecurity and exchange rates. And this is just as residents of Oshun State appeal to the federal government to help in ensuring reduction in prices of items used in preparing meals in the interest of the poor. Rafi Hamad reports. Seasonings are substances used to add flavor to food. They create deep flavors and marries together different ingredients to ensure balanced and flavorsome food. It's also probably the easiest way to create a great tasty meal. Without seasoning, a dish can be bland. These seasonings, which are usually in sachet, include salt, tomato paste, curry, thyme, pepper, among others. But the prices of these items have skyrocketed in market. For example, in January this year, a roll of tomato paste was between 220 and 250 naira, but now sold at 500 naira. People now find it difficult to buy them. Even the sellers are complaining of low patronage as a result of the hike in price. This one is time, yeah, curry and time. So other time there yeah, before. This one is 100 naira, it's naira. For now, it's 200. So everything don't cost now. Some tomatoes, this one before, 220, 230. But now, it's 500, 550. So everything don't cost. On tomato, you tell it, 50 naira. A sachet of tomato paste used to sell for 50 naira. Likewise, Korean time. But now, tomato paste is 50 naira, while Korean time is 100 naira. People are no more buying the items like others because of the high of their prices. People are no more patronizing us. Miss Grace Ayuridi came to buy curry and thyme. She says the sellers contribute to the hike in the prices of the items. The price is crazy because everything I've doubled. Compared to the last time I even came here, the thing has just escalated and it's kind of very, very disturbing. I have some um, at least commodities with them, but all of a sudden they'll just Start out there to increase the stock. Meanwhile, the price have not even increased in other places. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And so I think people can actually do better because they are the ones that are inflated the price as well. We visited one of the leading eateries in Oshubo, the state capital. The managers also lament the hike in the prices of the items. However, they said the hike has not affected the quantity of the seasonings they use in preparing their meals. Your priority should be the quality. Once the quality is not there, I mean, don't expect the patronage. So if, if we are to reduce our quality, I mean, people are used to our taste. Okay, this is what La Pete is made of. And if suddenly we get to reduce the quality and stuff like that, people will definitely know. We cannot, because of that, reduce the quality of food we're giving our customers. So we are just trying to just manage the situation. We still give them the best. Despite the fact that the prices of things we are using has really increased. A financial expert and a member of the State House of Assembly, Tunde Olatunji, says the demand for the items is more than the supply, among other factors. So the price is also a reflection of the, you know, um, our currency devaluation. Um, because we have, um, you know, our exchange rate now um, on the high side and so when you have depreciation of currency, uh, all your import-dependent uh, products uh, and services will also reflect that uh, uh, current reality. For a country that is population is going faster than its productivity or its GDP rate, there will be higher cost of goods and services. The standard of living will begin to fall. He also identified increased in cost of production and insecurity are some of the contributory factors. According to findings, for an import-dependent economy like Nigeria, the hike in prices of the food seasoning is expected and this can only be reduced when the country stops currency devaluation and ramps up its local production. Rafi Hamid, TVC News, Oshobo.